so this nice regular looking wall right here is not quite so regular. What I needed was a, this is a bearing wall, it's holding a floor system kind of across from here. And um, actually not quite on this side, but well, no, it is on this side. Um, so it's carrying joists, floor joists. And if I cruise down below it, you can see there is a, a footing. Now, unlike a porch footing, um, I don't get the, the tapered sides that I get in like a monopore, but that's okay. At least, you know, I'm getting a footing because um, before I didn't have a footing at all. So what's curious about it is when I slide, start to go up through my layers and I see my drywall is down all the way to the footing and there's the bottom stud, which I moved up manually and then change the studs within. But if I go over to, let's just back up a little bit. I'm gonna swap over to the other screen on the other side. And that way you can see the, um, the framing plan. So in framing, um, again, there's kind of some issues going on because I've got a wall here that I got to work and my framing is up at the right level, um, up where it's supposed to be. There's my bottom plate and the stud members are in there, but the only way that I can see the stud members so that I don't understand is, um, well, I don't understand two things. One is why is the drywall going below the floor? The other thing is I have to open this up and take it and change it to invisible. When I say, oh, I'd like to be invisible, then I can see my studs. And while the studs look actually as they should, I do know that my drywall is going too far. So you can look at the anatomy of this thing, but actually the footing and the wall are kind of built independently to make the footing happen because I tried just turning this into a bearing wall and making it happen. That didn't happen. That didn't rebuild the footing. I rebuilt this wall by doing this typical right click well, I can't right here, but if I had the wall turned on, if I had those layers turned on, I could right click and then rebuild this object or build the framing for this object. I'm sure you're familiar. So, um, not understanding how to get an interior 12 inch wide, 18 inch deep, whatever I'm looking for, you know, um, a, an interior footing that doesn't need to be frost depth because I'm already in a basement. So, um, looking to figure out how that's supposed to happen when you're this far in. That's, that's the thing. I am really far in with a lot of custom framing that is done. And that includes, you know, having to deal with some stuff over here where um, I had to get rid of the interiors. I had two layers of floor trim, base, base mold going on in here. And to do, make that go away, I dropped all these. In fact, I dropped the walls all the way around, all my foundation walls, by the um, three quarter inch tongue and groove that I would have here. But that's not entirely correct when I get out to areas such as this, where um, I don't want three quarters of an inch plywood going through onto concrete wall, I want the sill plate to sit down on it. So there's some transitional stuff where I want the floor system to certainly ride inside, lay on the framed wall, be inside my ICF wall. Just a lot of customized stuff trying to make this thing work and now dealing with that other issue. So hopefully I can get some help.